This video is sponsored by Proton Pass. My channel and mission has always been about making privacy and security more accessible and easier, even for non tech savvy users, and that's exactly what Proton Pass does. It's a cloud based password manager that allows you to securely store and manage your account logins, and it works across multiple platforms and devices. It even includes dark web monitoring, so if you're ever involved in a data breach, you'll get notified as soon as possible and you can prevent your accounts from being compromised or with dealing with identity fraud. They also provide Proton Sentinel, which increases your account security through a sophisticated AI system and specialists who monitor your account and keep it secure. Proton Pass is providing the entire Totally Not K Zero viewer base a 60% discount on Proton Pass if you use the link in the description. For just $25 a year, you can improve your privacy and security without compromising on ease of use. And the best part is, if you don't want to pay, they still provide a generous free plan. Thank you to Proton Pass for sponsoring today's video. A lot of you may not realize that you're spending anywhere from $5.80 to $17.40 per month on just tracking, spying, and telemetry. Anywhere from 5 to 15% of a user's total bandwidth is, can be entirely just tracking and spying and telemetry. And a lot of you don't realize it. To some people, this may not sound like a lot, but this absolutely adds up over time. You can be saving significant amounts of money long term if you choose to block this tracking and telemetry. I feel like m mostly the reason why people don't do that, though, is because they're often concerned about it just being too big of a pain in the ass. But what if I told you that you can accomplish this in just two clicks? And on top of that, it'll even make your computer run faster because a lot of people don't realize that most computers that have been in use for a couple years feel slow and sluggish because of Windows. It's not even actually your computer's hardware that's the problem. You can remove all this AI garbage they're putting in Windows. You can remove all of this other tracking nonsense. You can remove all the other pre-installed stuff that just gets in the way and you can get a smoother experience while saving money all in two clicks. Now, if you have a system that's already in use and has been in use for a while, then the best thing you can do is get a USB drive or maybe go to Google Drive and store all of your sensitive files there first. And then, and trust me, reinstalling Windows is actually a lot easier than you may think. All you have to do is click the Windows button right here, type in Reset This PC, and there's an option right here for that. So when you open this up, there is a highlighted button right here that says reset this PC and you can walk through it all. So I highly recommend you select remove everything and then it's also gonna ask you if you wanna download it from the cloud. I recommend that just so that you can get a totally clean and brand new system. It's gonna ask you to confirm and then you can go ahead and click next and proceed with the reinstall process. Once that is complete and you're on a brand new, fresh system, the very first thing you want to do is just make sure you're signed out of OneDrive, because OneDrive often signs in automatically, so you can just click this button right here to open it up, go to the settings button here, and then there should be a way for you to quit OneDrive. And you can even go through settings and you can sign out first. You can unlink this PC. So once you have that done, then we are ready to proceed with the next steps. So because this is going to be making heavy changes to Windows, it is required that you go ahead and disable Windows Defender. Again, this is just because it makes some pretty big changes to Windows, and Windows Defender often tries to block those changes. Doing this is very easy. You just have to click this little up arrow here, and then you'll see the Windows Defender icon. You go ahead and proceed to Virus and Threat Protection, and then under Virus and Threat Protection Settings here, you can click Manage Settings. Once you're here, you can just go ahead and go through one at a time and turn all of these toggles off. So one thing that not many people know is that you actually need to click this Dismiss button here, the blue links here. So go ahead and make sure that all of those are gone. And you don't have to do this, but sometimes people have problems with Windows Defender still trying to stop the install process, even though it says that it's turned off. If this happens to you, you can go back here and then there's an exclusion section. If you click add to exclusions and then you click folder, what you can do is you can actually just exclude your entire hard drive. So scroll down to this PC and then select local disk, then click select folder. 
Now, after you install the tool that I'm about to be showing today, then you'll want to go back here and remove this exclusion so that way Defender works again. Because if you keep this exclusion here, then Windows Defender won't work. So now we're ready to actually download the two-click tool, and it's called Talon. And it's a tool that I made along with my team. We call ourselves Raven. So you can go over to ravendevteam.org. Once you head over here, you can see our homepage. You can see that we're all about privacy and security. You head over to explore software, and then you can see Talon is available right here. Now Talon will make your desktop look like this, which is very nice and clean. So we can go ahead and click download for Windows, and then it will proceed with downloading. Now, oftentimes browsers will give you hell if you try to download this, and I'll show that in a moment. Yeah, so you can see here it says it's unsafe by Microsoft Smart Screen. So you can click these three dots here and click keep. And then it'll say this app is unsafe, yada yada. You can click show more and keep anyways. Again, because of the way this program functions, because of the way this program works, it does seem suspicious by antiviruses, but it is safe. So now you can just open up this zip file and then you see this exe file you can just drag it to your desktop like that so now we can proceed with the simple two-step process of running talon all you have to do is double click and then it'll give you a risk warning you can click run anyways and then it'll also ask you for administrator privileges. Okay, so now you can see that it's coming up with a Windows Defender check. This is just to make sure that you actually have it disabled. And then after that, it'll give you a warning about how it needs to be on a fresh system. So you can go ahead and proceed. And then it'll give you this beautiful screen here where you can select which browser you want. So Firefox is actually not the recommended browser anymore, but this is an older version. We will be releasing a newer version that corrects this in the future. Uh, I actually recommend you pick Brave instead because it's just like Chromium except with more privacy focused features. So I will go ahead and select Brave. And then you can optionally choose if you want some special Raven software. Most of you probably won't want that though, so I'll just go ahead and click no thanks. And then you get a simple install screen. And now all you have to do is wait. And it'll take, it depends on how fast your computer and network connection are. So it can take anywhere from 3 minutes to 10 minutes to 20. Uh, I haven't seen it go past 20 minutes typically though. So just give it like 20 minutes tops and uh, once it's done you can check back. And now, as you can see, it's restarting the system after it completed the install. And here we go. This is the end result. So as you can see, everything is a lot cleaner. We don't have any of that crap in our taskbar anymore. If we open this up, it's only the absolute bare essentials. Everything else is stripped out, including any stuff that runs in the background. This LinkedIn URL stays, but it's not even actually installed. It's just a web URL. But anyways, if you go ahead and open up Task Manager, and you can uh, see that a lot of the processes are actually much lower. So you can see only 67 processes are running in the background. Just for, just for example, a regular Windows install is anywhere from 125 to 150 background processes. So this really trims it down. And as you can see, only 18 background processes here are actually running. The rest are actual just Windows system stuff. Every time you boot up your computer, you'll be met with a clean, fresh system that has none of that extra garbage in your way. And then you'll just be able to open up your browser and do whatever you want to do and then log off. And so now you don't have to worry about any of the spying in the background, which will save you money down the line. And you don't have to worry about all of the annoying crap getting in your way with AI and all that extra stuff. You can just get straight to what you want to do. And that's that. According to many of our users, also, it's they say that it significantly improves the startup time for your computer. I honestly think this is just so cool, so I'm going to include it in the video. Code Ninjas Tulsa in South Tulsa, Oklahoma even uses Talon. It's so cool. You can even see their computers right here. All of them use Talon. I think that's really cool.
So feel free to give it a shot and let me know what you think in the comments down below. The link to download this is of course in the description. If you have any issues, you can contact us via email or we also have a Discord server if you want to join that and ask for help.